How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of a uh, new brewery time. Brewery that isn't even open yet time in the form of Bull and Bear Brewing. It is their Scotch Ale. Actually, no, this is their Oatmeal Stout. I saw S-O there, and I thought that meant Scotch Ale. S-O doesn't equal Scotch Ale. O-S means Oatmeal Stout. So we're going to be doing their Oatmeal Stout. I actually did their Scotch Ale previously, and I did their Vienna Lager. So we'll see what's what with this. Comes in a blank bottle because these guys aren't even open yet. Um, the owner kind of reached out and said, hey man, can I get you some beers? End of story. Pretty good story if you want to <laughs> say so yourself. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. It's called it's called going haywire. Middle of COVID time. Uh, this is, um, um, what is it, 18 days in the home isolation at this point. So it's a little bit unique for me being the social butterfly that I am. But as far as this beer goes, yeah, she looks the part of an oatmeal stout. It's a little bit lighter than what you'd expect. They definitely glean a bit of color along the edges. But she's got that nice kind of rich, kind of creamy head you'd expect from an oatmeal stout. Decently dark body to her. She looks the part of a stout, if not like a little bit of a porter vibe. I believe this is right around 6%. So low ABV, so it makes sense. Let's see if we get a nose. There is a soft, bready caramel vibe to it. So I'm getting a little bit of that oat um, component there. I'm getting a nice caramel kind of sweetness that I got off of their scotch tail. There's something there. There's something there that's a little bit off for me. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it just smells a little bit. I don't even want to go oxidative on it. It's almost like an ashiness. Sometimes I get that from an oatmeal stout. Yeah, like a soft little ashiness, but not too crazy. It just smells like a sweet... Um, kind of rich kind of brown ale more than a kind of oatmeal style. Oatmeal style comes off a little bit more kind of lactose because that oat kind of lends that kind of little bit of milk vibes to it. I'm not necessarily not getting that, but I'm not getting a huge two by four to the face. Then again, we're dealing with low ABV, ver ABV version of that. <sighs> Mouthfuls. Let's dive in. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's got a soft oatmeal mouthfeel. Oh. Stout mouthfeel vibe to her. Wow, getting really hard tonight. So that means when you don't tell beer reviews uh, for quite some time. Um, there's a big, rich. Now it's kind of gone away from caramel to more of a burnt brown sugar kind of maltiness. Um, that kind of comes off quite nice. Soft little oaty vibes here. Nice mouthfeel, but nothing over the top. It does have a nice kind of creamy finish to it. There is still that little bit of ashy, almost like burnt component to it. It's like an ashy burnt component that's somewhere beyond like a, a roasted malt though. Almost like a, a weird oxidative component, like um like almost like the, the 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 grain or the oats were a little bit toasted beyond what they should be, as opposed to just general kind of like um just a, a oxidative beer kind of thing going on. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just comes off as more of like a toasted oatmeal stout, like a roasted oatmeal stout. Um a hickory kind of oatmeal stout than a regular oatmeal stout. At least that's what I'm getting from it. And I can't really peg it as any kind of off flavor because it's not like sulfur. It's not like butter. It's not like butterscotch. It's not like cream corn. It's none of that kind of typical things you'd get from a beer. To me, it's more of the malt base, whether it be the malt or the oats. That grain was a little bit different than what I typically use for an oatmeal stout. Something a little bit roastier, something a little bit toastier, something I'm not all that used to when it comes to an oatmeal stout. So I'm not gonna sit here and say I hate it. Um, it's just kind of throwing me for a little bit to a loop for a loop because I was given you know three very traditional styles of beer, and all three of them have been kind of outside of style. But at the same time, minus the one beer which wasn't really my speed, just not necessarily this, not necessarily is a bad beer for me. It's just kind of not really an oatmeal stout for me. Um, even though it has vibes like that, that little roasty toastiness kind of gets me out of that mindset. Um, so let's talk about it. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's that big roasty toasty component. A um, little bit of oatmeal vibes. Nice soft mouthfeel, but nothing kind of crazy oatmeal style. Um, nice sweetness to it. A little bit of that burnt brown sugar. I think that burnt component is coming into mind when I think about that roasty toasty part. Yeah, done and done. Is it one of the better oatmeal stouts I've had as late? Uh, it's not on the outside, it's not on the inside. It's kind of floating somewhere around um, down there in, in, in uh, kind of nondescriptville. Um, I mean, if you kind of strip the oatmeal stout portion of the show from it, what do I think? I think it's a fine beer. I think it's a tasty beer. If I got it in a flight, I'd be like, okay, that, you know, not too bad. But it's not something I don't think I'd go back to. It's kind of, um, I don't know, it's fine beer. Just not really anything noteworthy for me, at least. Um, 
Let's see. Um, bag availability? No idea. Um, like I said, these guys are going to be opening relatively soon. I mean, with the whole kind of uh, COVID thing going around, who knows how that affects things and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like your brown owls to be a little bit bolder, you like your kind of oatmeal stouts to be a little bit less, at least on the mouthfeel front of things, or you like things to be a little bit more roasty because that's where this one kind of lands. Again, not necessarily a bad thing, uh, but it kind of um, follows a pattern um, with the beers in that they're 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 made in a way that they taste well, but they just don't follow the typical BJCP standard of what people would kind of look for in a beer. Not that I really adhere to that. That's not my bag. Um, there's people that kind of hang their head on that stuff. You can go listen to them talk. But when you're talking about these kind of uber traditional styles, that's kind of where you start off from, and, and I'd be doing a disservice if I didn't mention it. So there we go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. Want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little oatmeal jammer right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.